the life in you will never be strong until as you master meditation. This is why in the demonic world, they do a lot of meditation. They know that even the soulish life is energized through meditation. There are people who can meditate and begin to have astral projections because they know the power of meditation. If you have studied anything around new age or the new age movement, you know that their strength is meditation. They can sit down and they will be chanting for 10 hours, for 10 months, every day. And they will wake up. A young man, let me tell you something. A friend of mine is in Enugu. He went to preach to a young man. And he was talking to him how the power of God breaks patterns in family bloodline. And the guy laughed. He said, that's not the only way. He belongs to one of the new age order. What did he do? They told him that there is a gap in his lineage that he needed to travel back in time to correct. And they gave him some words to speak at that junction. But for him to get to that junction, he needed to meditate for three months every day for a particular number of hours. And the guy will lock himself in the room and be meditating and be meditating. As he was meditating, suddenly the spirit world started becoming real to him. Just because he was chanting that thing, that frequency began to create resonance and he became more sensitive. He will be meditating in this room. People will be talking in the next flat. He will know exactly the conversation they are having. Because his, his antenna was becoming sharper, sharper, sharper. When he read three months, suddenly he appeared in the timeline of his grandfather. And he was seeing everything they were doing. He was watching their life like a movie. Until what they told him was the cause. When the experience was playing out, he began to talk what they told him. And when he was done talking, he left the vision. Two months later, he exploded into millions. He became a millionaire. Nobody anointed him. Nobody imparted him. Through meditation, he entered into astral projection and corrected something by enchantment. If they can do this, people that the Holy Ghost is not... Of course, there are demons working with them. They, don't, they are not aware. There are demons working with them. But if they can achieve this, how much more you that have the Holy Ghost? And so the Bible teaches that we should... The word meditation is Hagar. Talk the word to yourself every day. He said in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he said this book of the law should not depart out of your mouth. He said meditate upon it day and night and see that you do what is written therein. He said then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. I tell people Christianity is not mystical but it must be practiced. Many believers are not practicing. The difference between we Christians and people in the demonic world is practice. If a demon is supposed to meditate on a book for one year, five hours every day, he won't miss once. Once he won't miss. But tell a Christian, read one verse of the Bible every day for one month. When it's one month, he has missed ten times. And then when there is a challenge, he stands and he begins to quote what he heard his pastor say. Because he was taught religion that if you say it loud, or if you say it fast, or if you say it walking in a certain way, it will work. All of that is religious garbage. Whether you sit and say it, stand and say it, if you have the power, it will answer. And if you don't have the power, if you like, say it like your pastor, dress like him, walk like him, shout like him, you will not get the result. Because the spirits hearing you, they are aware who has the reality. When you talk it to yourself, after a while, it will become pictures in your heart. That's why I said in 2 Corinthians 3.18, it said we all with open faces, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord. It said we are changed. When you are talking it and you start seeing it, you start becoming it. So you can be as bright as God if you will meditate enough to see it the way it is. Because your transformation is a function of your meditation and contemplation. It's not a function of your department in church. It's not a function of your position in church. There are many choir directors that have impregnated people. 
So choir director is not spirituality. There are many prophets and apostles that are fraudsters, swindlers, fornicators and liars. A title is not what makes you strong in life. It is meditation and contemplation that makes you strong. Because if you don't see it, you will not become it. And the gateway to seeing and becoming is meditation. When you want to grow in this thing, you will pack scriptures with you every day. You will memorize the scripture first. When you have memorized it, you now start talking it to yourself. You start talking it to yourself. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall fear no evil. See, as you are talking it, a point will come, what you are saying will start being animated to you. It will become like a picture. When you are sleeping, you will see God covering you. The moment you start seeing it, it start becoming your world. A point will come when you will be in the same crisis that other people were in and died. You will come out. Even you will not know how. The words you spoke and saw have become your reality. You want to energize eternal life? You must master the art of meditation. We talk what the world has put in our mouth. How do you think people become masturbators? There's no teacher anywhere teaching people how to masturbate. How do you think people become so bound to immorality? The world understands it. Buy a razor blade, you'll see a naked person there. Buy a beak, you'll see a naked person. Buy a singlet, you'll see a naked person. They push nudity to society to a point where anything you look at, you'll see nudity. Even your notepad in your phone that is meant for you to take note, you will click it, suddenly you see a woman with her chest open. And you are wondering, what does the chest of a woman have to do with my notepad? They are bombarding pictures to you. Because they know if you see it, the power to process it will be activated. So what they are doing is an impartation. Impartation is not only when hands are laid. There are certain impartations that are activated through sight. Look at naked picture for a while. You will be shocked the kind of creativity around immorality that will awoken in your spirit. And you will find yourself fornicating helplessly. You will be crying and say, God, help me. What you need is not God, help me. Change your diet. Even if it is caused by a demon, cast out that demon. So long as that person is still watching that thing, he will still go back. But if you want to live above it, start seeing something different. Go to the internet. Go and download healing videos. Watch it for one month and see what will happen to you. You are not praying, you know, just be watching the healing videos. Be watching it. Be watching it two hours every day. After one month, you'll be shocked. Somebody says it's deaf. You say open. The ear will open. You will ask yourself, when was that anointed to open deaf ears? You have become it. Somebody will tell you he cannot walk. Even before you think, you'll say, get up. You will not even know when you told the person to get up. And the moment you speak, the power that you have incubated yourself with will be poured on that person. You become what you see and you become what you say to yourself.